Now the Dixon story. The family that runs the Dixon apple farm up near Cochiti is reeling after the floods that roared through their canyon yesterday and on Sunday. Now they're not sure they'll be able to go on. News 13 Scotty Daniels is there live. Scotty. This is it, guys. It's what's left of the Dixon apple orchard. Jim Mullane, one of the owners, said it best. He said he feared that this valley would turn into a river. They survived the freeze, battled through the fires, but it's the flooding that scares the Dixon family the most. We're going to have tremendous erosion problems here. That's our next problem is erosion. I mean, this, this, this canyon right here is going to be just a river. Jim Mullane didn't know how prophetic he was over a month ago. Today, he and his wife have solicited help to pick up the pieces. They're telling us that, you know, we could see wall to wall here. So we're, we're just trying to get things out of here right now. As they continue moving their equipment to higher ground, Becky's father, Richard Dixon, watches what is left of the land he grew up on. Full grown trees that my dad planted floating in the water. And uh, it just took them out like they're toothpicks. And uh, it's, it's unbelievable. With no vegetation to absorb water, the Las Conchas fire turned into flooding. Flooding that the family says could be like this to stay, making it impossible to rebuild. They say the fire service told them that these types of floods could stick around for five years. With three to five years of more of this happening, it's, it's hard to even imagine what you could do. If this just continues this trend till the monsoon season's over, there won't be anything left here anyway. The uphill battle continues for the Dixon and Mullane family with no business, no orchard, and since the fire, no home left. We haven't lived in that home since then, since June 27th. And ever since then, our life has been an upheaval. You can see the pathway the floodwaters took. It's still a fraction of the apple trees still standing. And while we were here, we saw the roof of one of these buildings collapse. So the damage continues. Guys, back to you. Okay, Scotty, there is no need for any other volunteers who want to help out. They have plenty of people on hand. They just need a lot of help from above.